Have you ever wanted more intimacy in your life? <laughs> Pleasure? Whatever. Okay. Hey, I'm Rachel. I've been an intimacy coach for 10 years. We've been doing this series all year long. So thanks so much for being here. Let's get into it. Today, what we're going to talk about is setting the expectation. So what is one of the biggest things that I think that if we could make a change for humans when we are making our relationships easier, it would be this. We do not set expectations for self, for anything, relationships, a job. We never do that. Most of us go into anything with the assumption that we're going to be told what to do or we already know what to do based on our experiences. And that's the way it's going to be. But one of the most powerful statements that has changed my life as an individual human being, but also in my coaching business, is that unverbalized expectations lead to resentment. And what is really powerful about this, especially for the feminine, is that what I often have to remind my coach or my, my, my coaching clients is that if you have not told a partner what it is that you expect, need, or want, how can you hold it against them when they don't give it to you? Because that is what we do. We make an assumption, again, that my partner's going to know how I need to be loved. My partner's going to know exactly what I need. My partner's going to know what I like, even in additionally, not just in the bedroom, but on all aspects of it. And that's just not fair. All right. So and by the way, all of us do this. We do this with not just intimacy expectations, like who's going to pay what bill, who's going to pay or who's going to clean the house. These are just things that we make an assumption that our partners know because they had the same experiences growing up. So when we can be very mature, we can sit down and say, listen, as me, an individual, this is the type of partner that I am. I'm needy. I like to be loved. I like to be touched. I also like really, really good one-to-one -one physical time. I also need some time where I can reach, whatever, okay? Whatever your blueprint is. And if you don't know it, this is your challenge to get to know it. And then it's also important for you to, after you've said what kind of partner you're going to be, here's the type of partner I expect because it's not identical to the person I'm going to be. I'm looking for somebody to compliment who I am. So here's the things that are important to me. What about you? And then the other person, of course, would hopefully have their list to then share. And then what we do is we really reflect on what are the things that are most important. We need to make sure we keep those. What are the things that are kind of like, meh, and maybe we could touch base on those later. And what are the things that are absolutely not important to us that we were told would be in a relationship that we can just throw out so we don't have to waste our time or energy thinking about those or completing them or whatever. Now, the other thing that's so important about expectations is that we need to give ourselves permission that this is just something that we do frequently. How many of us have work reviews and why not? Because if we don't know if we're not doing our job well, we can't improve upon that or we can't as the employer, employee, sorry, ask for a raise or ask for better working conditions because we don't have that opportunity. So relationships are no different. If we agree that every six months or even once a year, once a year is best or like, it's a place to start, I guess, right? If we can sit down and reevaluate and say, hey, how are things? Are you being loved? Do you feel like your needs are being met? What can we change for the both of us so that we can become bigger, better, stronger as a couple? So I hope that this was information that was helpful and that it's something that you will take back with you and make sure that you can implement into your relationship. So then all again, can you have your needs be met? But then you see, see, I'm sorry, you feel seen and heard, which is also really important to the human experience is about that validation. So subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be back with more information tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.